I'm teaching ME207, uh, Mechanical Engineering Laboratory 3, commonly known as the Senior Lab. The Senior Lab is introduced in different sections, including mechatronics, the one I teach. Uh, there is fluid mechanics, there is solid mechanics, and also control systems and dynamics. And the labs are usually paired and offered within the same semester as a pair, and the students have to sign up for both. Mechatronics is actually uh, a more common occurrence in our daily life than most people realize because any system that has mechanical parts that are controlled by digital parts is a, basically a mechatronic system, like your dishwashers or uh, maybe washing machines that are temperature controlled, time controlled. In my lab, the students were working on two projects, one of which is the webcam control drawer. And the second project is a self-balancing motorcycle. I think the, that was their favorite <laughs> because it looked much cooler. The project is about balancing a motorcycle as it stands, no motion, no steering at all. The torque that's generated by the falling motorcycle was contracted by an inertia wheel that is on the motorcycle. And the experiment part is observing uh, the different gains that are introduced to, through the controller. So most of us take these classes and we try to internalize these abstract concepts of uh, engineering. But when the students are actually there building something using screwdrivers, wires and whatnot, and things are not fitting, they have to implement other things. And they actually start to feel more comfortable into that engineering role. Well, I would say that's the best part of the job, honestly. <laughs> Being able to see all those little light bulbs go on.